Welcome girls and boys, visitors and friends. We're so happy to be with you today. And it's such an exciting day. It's Pentecost day to celebrate the gift of the Holy Spirit. When Jesus left his followers and friends after Easter, he promised he would send them a gift of God's spirit. Sometimes when we hear the word spirit, we get confused about what it is. And then we remember that we've learned that it's a feeling, that it's just like the wind. You can't see the wind, but you feel the wind. You can't see love, but you feel love. You can't feel friendships or caring. They're things that you feel and you realize how wonderful it would be to have the feeling that God is with you. This day is a celebration that he brings in all of these wonderful things to help us know that he's with us all along, like the wind and the elements in the sea and around the world. That's part of God's love for us. The story today helps you understand how God's spirit was celebrated on Pentecost Day long, long ago. As Miss Valerie and I share the story with you, we feel the love for you and share with you so much of our lives and you share with us. We know that God doesn't care what color your hair is or what color your eyes are or how tall you are or how smart you are. He loves everyone. And he wants everyone to feel his spirit, particularly on this day. We are all God's children. God's spirit brings us new dreams. God's spirit brings new life, like new babies. God's spirit brings love, God's spirit brings hope, gives us hope for every day. This is a day to celebrate. And sometimes it's called the church's birthday. So it's a special celebration. Of course, the time when everybody began to work together, love each other and understand each other. So today we'll be learning and loving together. And we'll say happy birthday, Church by the Sea. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's wonderful to celebrate. And we had much to celebrate at Church by the Sea with a new building. And every day there's a new program. We have so many people helping us learn and love together. Let's begin our story with a prayer. Bow your heads, fold your hands, open your heart. Oh, God, your spirit gives life to all the earth. We ask you to be with us as we open ourselves to the joy and wonder of this day. Amen. Amen. Now we'll begin our story, an exciting story about things that happened long ago, Pentecost Day. Something unusual was in the air in Jerusalem that day. It wasn't the heat, it wasn't the chirping birds, or the clip-clopping of the donkeys on the dusty road with the carts bringing grain and fruit for the festival of Pentecost. An air of excitement hovered over the city, along with the sounds of the cooing doves and the ble bleeding lambs on their way to the temple. Jerusalem was always bustling on the day of Pentecost. People came from all over Judah to celebrate this festival. Sitting at a gate into the city, or a marketplace provided an amazing sight. All sizes and shapes of people walked by. Mysterious languages touched your ears and smells of exotic spices and herbs wafted before your nose. Commotion, big commotion of adults talking along with children playing and laughing, gave a special joy to the day. You can imagine everyone was excited. As people traveled to Jerusalem, they sang praises to God. Like sometimes when you're traveling in the car, you sing songs. Well, they were singing praises to God as they went on their way to Jerusalem. That, this lightened their steps as they sang along on the dusty roads. Their songs lingered in the air Peter and the rest of Jesus' followers had been in Jerusalem for many days. After the crucifixion and the resurrection, 
Jesus had instructed them to wait in the city for a special gift, the Holy Spirit. Today, they too were excited and eager to celebrate Pentecost. On the day of Pentecost, Jesus' followers were all together. They spent much time praying together. Perhaps they were praying when it happened, for all of a sudden, it was not an ordinary day, not even an ordinary Pentecost day. A what breeze was... came into the room where they were. And the breeze got stronger and stronger and sounded like the rush of a mighty wind, filling their ears in the room with its sound. Oh, it was like being outdoors in a windstorm. And with the wind came what looked like tongues of little fires of flames. And the flames danced over the head of the people. But no one was burned. When the wind and the flames disappeared, the people in the room found they could speak different languages, languages they hadn't spoken before. And they found that they could understand the different languages. That would be a wonderful thing to happen around here sometimes. We have so many different languages. Imagine how surprised they were. This was the gift of the Holy Spirit. This was the gift that Jesus had promised them. All this noise had attracted a crowd looking in the door. Oh, they are acting very strangely, someone said. And, and how can these people speak so many languages, asked another. Why, I hear that person speaking my language, said somebody else. Peter heard the people outside. Listen, everyone, listen, he shouted above them. Everyone, the people outside the room and the followers of Jesus inside the room, stopped talking. We are not being silly. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. Remember what the prophet Joel said. God declared, I will pour out my spirit upon everyone. Your daughters and sons will have words from me. Old and young alike will dream marvelous dreams. Peter's words, the words from God, astonished everyone. The people outside, the ones in the room, they were all astonished. Peter told them about Jesus and the promise of the Holy Spirit. On that special, unusual Pentecost, 3,000 people joined the followers of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> now, Miss Valerie has some wonderful ways for you to join in the celebration of Pentecost. And you can all be seen. Hallelujah. So. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Joanne. The story we just heard is very dramatic. And, and, and I imagine it, it was a little scary and, and difficult to understand yeah. when you were there and then have to explain to others. But, you know, we all have experiences every day and we have different feelings about them. I prefer experiences which give me a feeling of peace and quiet happiness. <laughs> oh, <These> no. <laughs> <laughs> These feelings make me feel closer to knowing and understanding that God's love and caring are all around me. So I feel safe and I have faith that everything is going to be all right. Some people feel closer to God in the mountains, others on the ocean, and sometimes listening to music or looking at beautiful painting gives people a sense of God's spirit and inspires them. Being together in church can also awaken a feeling of closeness to God's power. And sometimes for me in the early morning as the day dawns, I like to remember that God's in his heaven and all is right with the world. So today, because we had uh, the wind, I'm going to show you uh, how you could make a, a wind catcher and um, which will uh, catch the wind or, you know, 
flow and that will perhaps remind you of uh, the fact that the wind you don't really see it but you you know it's moving you do see it move i suppose but uh, you don't uh, really understand it entirely so this will remind you uh, to think about god's um, spirit every day and how to be loving and caring reminder so i, I think it's very easy to make you just need, um, I have some poster board, which has got a, a little heavier than um, construction paper. But if you only have construction paper, you could just use, this one has, I think, two layers to it. And then you just cut it from the piece and then make a circle. And you, with a stapler, you can just staple it together. And you can make it the size that you want. And then... Um, you need some um, tissue paper, thin paper, like you maybe have for wrapping gifts or uh, very and yeah. things. And then you just cut it up into strips. This one would be a, a, a cut it, and then this one is is I need to cut it again, so that I have a smaller thin a one strip. So you need a. You can use any color you want. I just kind of like the blue and green look, but you know, you're they're usually in different colors, whatever you want to use. So you cut the strips about the length that you want, and then I just snip them at the bottom. And then if you were doing this one, for instance, and then um, you just decide where you, you know, to start putting it. And then you just need a little glue and put a little glue on the inside here. And my glue is not coming out very quickly today. It's being a little difficult, so we're not going to waste time with it. Well, you and could then you it. pop it there. And then you just go all the way around. And you could decorate this too. I mean, I think it's possible you could put it that way if you wanted, yeah. or you could do a little design here uh, along there. Then when you've done that, you, um, have to want if you want to hang it i i uh, had yeah, wool that shows that's my house so i i just cut some strings of wool but you do have to make a little hole in the side with your oh, hole maker and then you can cut four lengths of um, wool and then just you know do one across and then another one across mm -hmm. And then I just tied it in the middle. And then you can hang it up somewhere, maybe in front of your window or somewhere near the fan and see if the breeze will just blow it for you. And may a little, a little reminder that God's spirit is everywhere. <laughs> we, always, we always need lots of good reminders, I think, about how to be loving and caring. Do you have an angel, Miss Joanna? Oh, I do. Let's see what I have. Oh, because it's a joyous day, certainly we're all going to have joy, the angel joy. And then I think you'd also be in full delight. How delightful to be. I like that. For this yes. type of celebration. <laughs> and we Good. really want enthusiasm. Oh, we need that every day, don't we? Be yes. singing <laughs> and making your, your wind catcher and we're waving hi to your friends, sharing the love. Good, Before? thank you very much. I have uh, the angel of willingness, and I think that reminded me that am I willing, my willingness to be a messenger for God and remember to be, you know, loving and caring and kind and thoughtful and uh, everybody I meet, give them a smile or say, Hello, how are you? Hope you're feeling good today. Yeah. I'm feeling wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And, and then, you know, this is like uh, for every week, we have to be creative in every possible way. Even if it's making a wind catcher, if it's mummy in the kitchen cooking some, you know, food in a different way, you, have, you know, let's be creative uh, in as many ways as we possibly can. So I think we yeah. have lots of good angels this week. We this so we'll, shall we close with a prayer for today and hope that everybody has a very happy Pentecost <coughs> and um, the coming week too. So, dear God, 
Thank you for all the beauty you have given us to enjoy and care for. May all I do and show, say, show my love and caring for all you have given us. Let me be a good messenger. Amen. Amen. So enjoy the day and the week, every day. <laughs> nice weekend.